All right, so in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I painted this cow step by step, focusing in on how I develop the form. All right, welcome to Paint Coach. My name is Chris Fornatero, and I'm here to help simplify oil painting so that you can get better faster. So I'm actually trying kind of a new method of explaining my painting process. Instead of showing a time-lapse video, I thought it actually might be more helpful to drop in on still photos of the painting at different stages and have me draw on them in Photoshop and explain how I got from one stage to the next stage. I feel like this can allow me to explain things a little better, especially concepts that are utilized during the whole process of the painting, like creating form. That's something that you start at the beginning of the painting and you're just constantly working throughout the whole painting. So if you find the format of this video helpful and you like it, please let me know in the comment section. If you don't like it, let me know in the comment section. And if you wanna get the full version of this painting video tutorial, it is available on my Patreon page, which is linked in the description below. Now, before I jump in, I just wanna talk a little bit about form and why it is so important. I feel like it's one of the principles of painting that takes the longest to really get a hold of and kind of wrap your mind around. I know for me, it wasn't until kind of later on that I really picked up how important form was and to not just paint what you see, but to understand what you're seeing and lay down colors and shapes that are gonna help portray a form, and not just be a bunch of random shapes and values that aren't really working together to create something. So let's jump on into the tutorial. All right, so this is my initial drawing. I actually toned my canvas with a wash of sap green and burnt sienna wiped with a paper towel, get rid of the white. And you see my drawing here, it's it's loose, but it's accurate. At this point, I'm, I'm paying attention to where things are. Things like, you know, how far does this ear come out opposed to the snout? Accurately judging this distance with this distance. If I dropped a uh, plumb line straight down from this eye, where would it fall on the snout? And you see it's right around the nostril. I can go up here to the photo, roughly drop a line straight down. It's around the snout. I can also judge distance from end of the snout to the end of this ear. If I drop this line down, you know, how much further away is it from the snout? So that's the things that I'm paying attention here. I don't need a lot of detail. I just need to get things in the right place. All right, and these are my first notes of color. The first thing I actually put in was um, this dark area right there. Uh, I like to get my darkest dark in first. It helps me gauge uh, the rest of the colors and values in the painting. And you see, I'm, I, the paint is relatively thin here. You can kind of see it. You can see uh, my brushwork. I've uh, identified and blocked out this big shadow shape. You see, there isn't much detail. I'm just thinking about this big shape right here. I put in a little bit of uh, the brown of the cow here and a little bit there, but again, the paint's pretty thin right here because I know I'm gonna be building on top of it. I've also indicated a little bit of this reflected uh, warm kind of greenish uh, light that's from the grass bouncing up and the light that's coming up from the ground it's catching the bottom planes. So anything that's facing down is gonna be catching this light. So just putting it in there is already adding another dimension to this form. All right, and here you can see that I started to put in the whites of the cow and notice how it is not pure white at all. You'll never see me use pure white in any part of this cow. It's actually the darkest value that I could get away with because I wanna build from dark to light. So I lay down the darkest value I can for this. That way I can put lighter, thicker paint on top of it. And I'm also already starting to pay attention to form. Like I'm thinking about the form of the snout. I'm thinking of it if it was, you know, carved out of wood and hadn't been sanded down. I'm sure if I was very familiar with like the structure of the skull of a cow, I would have done this uh, even better. But just I can see, uh, just looking at the picture, I can kind of tell and pick up on where things are, where certain planes are, what planes are being hit with what light. But just separating and having this area right here lighter uh, than this area over here, I'm already starting to establish form. All right, so I introduced uh, some of the background, this light green, and you can see how just putting this in is gonna make you see this differently. And that's why I put it in there, because I wanna have all the main colors and values on the canvas as soon as possible so I can start comparing them. And also just having that green there made me see more green that was happening in this reflected light 
uh, bouncing up from the grass below. Again, with wanting to get all the colors and values that I can on there as soon as possible, I put in uh, this pink snout there and it just being pink, uh, which is kind of a red and red being the complement of green and just seeing this green next to this red, it's gonna make certain things pop. Also introduced another dark value in these small little shapes here. Again, doing that for the same purpose as putting in this green over here, I want to have all the major colors and values on there as soon as possible so I can start comparing them. All right, so I introduced a new lighter value to better portray the form. Uh, you can see I put its shape in right there to start better constructing the form of this cheek area. Also put in another lighter value around here in the white of the cow and just put it in these lighter, smaller shapes is going to start bringing the form out more in the cow. You can see down here in the previous stage, all of this was pretty flat. But here, just introducing this new light shape is going to give it a little more form and not make it look as flat. All right, so here I've really gone to town with adding in smaller, lighter shapes. You know, I'm developing this area down here in the cheek a little more. I developed the snout a lot more by putting in some smaller, lighter shapes. That isn't looking uh, flat anymore. Got another lighter shape down there. Got this darker shape kind of indicating this front plane. I've developed the eye a lot more. I've gotten this all dark in there with the light kind of like eyelashes or whatever is above there and dialed in this a lot more specific. I've added a lot more lighter shapes on the snout here and just again, continuing to fully define this form that I identified right at the beginning of the painting of this front plane and the snout and always thinking about that as I'm adding in new shapes and new values. I'm never arbitrarily putting them in. I'm thinking and placing them where they're gonna portray more form or help create texture. You can see some of my brush strokes here are kind of going in this direction, which you can see in the photo, you know, we got these wrinkles and everything and I'm not going in and putting in the exact wrinkles, but just indicating the direction of the folds of the skin or hide uh, here is going to help sell that effect. All right, again, I'm just getting more specific and smaller with my shapes. You can especially see in this cheek area, uh, you know, like down here in the previous stage, you know, you just got pretty much like this light oval shape surrounded by this all pretty much the same darker circle. But here I've found more smaller shapes to better illustrate the folds of the hide. You know, take this area right here. In the previous section, it was just a flat color. By adding some smaller, lighter shapes, it's making it look more plump and actually like folds of hide. And over here, you can see that I've dialed in this shape more. I've made it a lot thinner over here. I was pretty broad with it over here in the previous stage, but here I've gotten more subtle with the shape. That's another thing is as the painting goes, getting more subtle with your shapes and dialing them in and making them more specific. They can start out very broad and simple, but as you go, you can dial them in and make them more of what you want them to be. And here at the last stage, uh, there isn't that much difference. The biggest thing is just adding in another lighter value here. And again, this is far from pure white. Never went to pure white here but this last little touch of finding the brightest values is kind of, I feel like what makes it pop and what really makes it look like the sun is hitting it. Also, you know, increased the white here. I didn't go crazy with it. I really tried to see where in it that there was the brightest highlights. There is some you can see in the picture back here that I didn't put in because I didn't want to draw folks away from the head. So I kind of left this all uh, a little underdeveloped to draw attention to the head. I also added a really small little light here and just adding that gives it that one extra little push into portraying the form of not just the head in general, but even small areas. Like I said, these little folds of the hide and making sure these are reading as three dimensional and are actually reading accurately. And it's just not a bunch of 
arbitrary color that isn't working together to create any kind of form. All right, I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I release a new video. And if you wanna see what I am painting on a daily basis, you can follow me on Instagram at Forza43. I'm Chris Fornatero here telling you to go get painting.